nearly, nearly there. And as I approached here, there was a frog leaping off back into the pond. Very long legs as they jump, frogs. Hellebore. Oh, shit. Tripping over. Finally flowering, but they always hang down, which is a shame. I'll trip over. I tripped over that. I always forget that there's like a border there. It's gonna be noisy from the road and the air. Just after I showed you the rock I tripped over, I am. Um, paused this and then hit my head on a branch so as you can see it's really bright which is lovely it was very foggy this morning when I woke up um, and we left here at 10 for my 10.30 appointment for physio and um, drove back into the fog so we left here in bright sunshine and drove back into the fog on the way to Chauvigny um, so I had my first session of physio, she got me doing quite a lot of exercises with my neck and um, I'm feeling uncomfortable obviously today, I wasn't, <laughs> by the time I got to her my pain had really diminished which is amazing, um, I'm not really sure what's happened but I've been cutting down on my um, intake of codeine because that's so addictive, I've been cutting down on that and um, Paradoxically, my pain has diminished. I think there is something about, um, I must look, I think there's something about the level of painkillers that you take can actually cause pain. I don't understand that, but I must look it up because I'm. It, it's, it's ringing a bell. Um, so yeah, so she has told me that um, my, um, I've got a reverse anatomy in my, in my brain also in my neck and she said it won't be that causing the problem and that won't cause a problem i'm quite pleased about that that's the first person that said that to me um in 12 years since i found out that i had the neck of an 80 year old so i've got um so we did some exercises anyway and i've got to repeat those six times a day at home i'm not going to do that today because i did quite a bit there and um i'll start tomorrow and um, that should free me up and make me more comfortable. What else? She, um, I've got an x-ray on the 22nd. Um, so we'll get a new picture of what's going on. But she suggests that probably what's going on for me is linked to the rheumatoid arthritis. And that um, that's something I need to talk to my rheumatologue about. Um, and I will do. And and the treatment I'm having for my hands, the treatment for rheumatoid arthritis is what I'm already being treated with. So when I see my um, rheumatologue in June, um, I can get her to investigate my neck and see if there's any tweaks that need making. But I think these exercises will work. Um, I'd forgotten them. There were a couple that, that I did that I was taught by Louise about 10 years ago here in um, in San Savan when we had physios here and I'd just forgotten it so um, so yeah that's good I um, had quite a stressful day yesterday but not the sort of stress that God, it's so fucking noisy be quiet yeah um, I have was sending off a sample to um, to look at my microbiome, my gut microbiome, and it's time sensitive. And on Sunday evening, I contacted DHL to do a same day pickup, which was supposed to happen yesterday. So I went ahead and provided the sample, did all that I had to do, um, and DHL didn't turn up. That caused me quite a bit of stress, as I say, because it was um, time sensitive. But I spoke to somebody in the UK and she was fine. And she said, no, don't worry about it. And here's a link and do this, do that. Um, so anyway, it got picked up today at just after two o'clock. So now I can relax. 
that it's caused me quite a bit of low level anxiety i'm not going to say anxiety because i don't have the sort of anxiety that a lot of people have um but just a, a, enough to stop me sleeping very well and um you know to all of that so i feel really pleased now that that's that done and we've got art tomorrow instead of thursday because cleo's doing something on thursday i don't know what so uh, we got art on wednesday um still getting eggs i think there's just one egg uh, one hen laying at the moment so we've had we've got two eggs now so i'm pleased about that gonna start getting our own eggs you can't beat them you just can't beat your own eggs when you if you crack a home laid egg into a pan it's solid it doesn't spread you can tell if an egg's fresh um because it won't spread in the pan uh, i hate cracking egg into a pan and it's spreading the white spreading everywhere it's like so yeah i haven't eaten we haven't eaten them yet but we will be it is noisy i think that's another indicator of where we are in terms of time of year it's like it just i can't explain it but but the, it, everywhere's a little, little bit more alive lots of birds singing which you can obviously hear um so they think it's spring my um fellow artist um dean said to me last week she said it's uh, winter is over, spring is here, and she was saying that because of the Gru coming back. Um, and I understand that, yeah, we, we that's what happens, you know, the Gru come back, so we sort of think, okay, well, winter's over, but I know from past experience that winter isn't over, and March comes back and bites your bum quite often, so I'm not holding my breath. We haven't had a fire for days. It's cold, but we've got the gas fire going, and... Um, so we haven't had a fire for days. That's it, really. The daffodils are nearly nearly out. I think another couple of days, if it stays sunny, they'll come out, and that'll be lovely. I saw some on the way back out of San Savannah yesterday. I saw some that are fully flowering. Um, I guess I don't know why some are and some aren't. But so yeah, that's what's going on here, and. Um, I'm sure there's nothing else going on here. No, Mark's finished. Did I tell you? Did I do a vlog? I might have done a vlog. He's finished his Cromwell tank, which you can see um, on Tales from the Bunker. Um, he's finished that. He's now making a full size, one to one scale shell from um, a panther tank, a tiger tank. So I keep walking into his room, <laughs> seeing this big thing, this big black thing. Um, I said to him, I reckon he's doing an Apollo 11. And, and that he'd saved up all those fairy liquid bottles to make it. Do you remember that advert, fairy liquid? The, the boy, little boy. Wait, it would have been a boy because boys make rockets, girls don't back then. Um, the boy saved me, wanting to finish making his rocket with the final fairy liquid bottle so yeah anyway that's it have a nice evening and um see you when i feel more awake